this is Hank Queens. Oh. It's Thursday, y'all. I got the hiccups. It's Thursday, September the 29th. If you are new to the channel, make sure you check out all the other video. This is a fat sorry a family vlog video and if you like us so much and want to become a part of the tribe go ahead and like comment and subscribe because it take a village to raise these children okay and if you are a part of the tribe already what's up sis what's up bro what y'all up to child we about to start the weekend vlog and my energy is kind of low because I just came from work. As you guys can see, I got on my work clothes. I'm actually looking for a sports bra because it's been kind of cold today. Woke up to like a gloomy weather with some winds and it's kind of cold. Y'all know fall season is upon us. And it's actually not my favorite season, y'all. Fall season is actually my least favorite season, okay? Because it's cold, it's gloomy, it's rainy. There's also hurricane season here in Florida. Once again, it be cold. We got to wear a lot of clothes. Like, fall, is, fall and winter is my least favorite season. Spring is my favorite. Summer is my favorite. Or whatnot even though i be complaining about the heat but i take the heat over the winter i know a lot of people don't think the same a lot of people like the cold oh my god i like want to wear a coat so that, that not me sis no get i want to be naked okay bring the heat and let me just have on nothing because that is my happy place okay so yeah just wanted to come in here and check in with you guys so um I don't do all this editing, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. I don't do so much editing. Um, and in the edits, I'm able to see what I need to catch up, catch you guys on, catch you guys up on. So, the last video you guys seen, I don't went to the doctor, or whatever the case may be, and my results are back in. So, let me go ahead while I'm talking to that. So my results came back in and I actually was low on vitamin D. Vitamin D is good for the blood. Okay. I take three. For now. I mean the reason I take three is because I can't remember what the doctor told me to take. I don't know what she said. You get a 50 milligram or 500 milligram. That's a big difference. And I called my doctor today and I left a voicemail, but nobody called me back. So I'm taking three for now, but last night was the first time I took it. Keep my all these days. I don't know if you guys, I've probably been saying that in my vlog. I've been super sore, super sore, super sore. And I thought it was because of the workout. And my energy level been really down for months. You guys could even go see it in my vlog. Like, I'm so tired. I'm just not in the mood. I took this last night, y'all. No lie. I have no aching in my bones. Like, I woke up. I was. I jumped out the bed, you know, getting myself together. Normally, I'd be like, ouch, ouch, ouch. Bruh, my bones feel so much better after I took that. My energy been a lot more higher than how I've been for, like, weeks or even months. So... It's good for depression. It's good for the bones. It's good for all type of stuff. But when they, when I came back, um, my blood work came back, I was low on vitamin D. Did you know 82% of black women are deficient in vitamin D? Here are three signs that you may be vitamin D deficient. Studies have shown that individuals with low vitamin D levels are more likely to experience symptoms of depression and other mood disorders. Vitamin D is crucial for maintaining healthy bones. Without sufficient vitamin D, our bones become weak and prone to fractures. If you're constantly feeling worn out, even after a good night's rest, that could be a sign of low vitamin D levels. And I'm also pre-diabetic, y'all. So pre-diabetic is, I've been doing research all week pretty much on how can I, first of all, okay, so pre-diabetic is pretty much that um, my insulin 
much. My blood sugar is normal. My blood sugar is still good, but my body have to produce more insulin to keep my blood sugar at its regular level, okay? So right now, my insulin, even though it's working a lot more, it still is at a place where I can still keep my blood level good. But once your insulin is working more and it's no longer, and your blood sugar is no longer reacting to your insulin working harder, that's when you become diabetic. So right now, my insulin is working harder to keep my blood sugar at a good level, but because my insulin is working so much harder, my body has to produce so much more insulin. That is why I'm become. That is why I am a pre-diabetic um, person now. Um, it is reversible. It is reversible. So I've been doing research on how to. Five things that can be done to help reverse pre-diabetes. First of all, try to avoid sugar. Number two, try to stay away from processed foods. After you do those two things, try to get some more fiber in your life. Aim for 50 grams a day. Number four, make sure you pair your carbs with fat, fiber, or protein. Don't eat them naked. Lastly, make sure you prioritize micronutrients. Your glucose levels won't normalize overnight, but consistently practicing these habits will help reverse prediabetes and put you on a path towards optimal metabolic health to eat but let me tell you something guys it's like your body know when you're restricted from eating something or I don't know if it's something that the body does because it becomes sugar like let me tell you and you guys can look at my other vlogs how much have I been telling you guys oh my god I love carbs I love carbs I've never been a carbs person like not to the point where I crave it so much even sugar, every time I eat something, I need some, I'm not a sweet person. I have never been a person to eat sweets like that. But now, every time I eat, I have to have me. And even when I do eat something sweet, it's dark chocolate. It's like something that don't have that much sweetness to it, but I just need that hint of sweet. Bruh, I honestly feel like I started having these symptoms once my body, are, like I probably was already pre-diabetic and didn't know. But I feel as if for the last six months, when it comes to sweet, my relationship with sweet has changed. I've never been a sweet person. I've never been really been even a carbs person. I've been more of a, I like, I like vegetables. Like I always been a vegetable type of person. I might like me a fried pickle, you know, fried pickles or, or I'm trying to think like, um, fried eggplant like th that's the kind of carbs I like but that's how I normally intake my carbs but for me to just like bread and like french fries and like stuff like that never never until like the last couple of months keep in mind genetically it runs in my family okay it runs in my family it was just my mom have diabetic uh, she's a diabetic um my aunties or whatnot so it runs very close to my family or whatnot um, at this age, at 36, my mom already had, di had diabetic, was diabetic, and had high blood pressure. Um, thank God, I'm I'm only pre-diabetic. Um, while I was pregnant with Elijah, I don't know if I mentioned it on it. I don't even know if I was recording during my pregnancy. I don't think so. I have no, I don't think I have any much footage of me pregnant. But, um... Once I, when I was pregnant with um, Elijah, I was diabetic, and they did tell me within three to four years, it was very possible that I'd be a type 1 diabetic. Thank God I'm only pre-diabetic, um, and I really think it has to do with my eating, you know, even though I haven't been perfect with eating, but it has to do with me being at, um, working out and also me eating, the, you know, eating okay, at least decent. I'm not a crazy eater. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm pre-diabetic. My goal is to reverse it. I have three months to, um, hence sugar-free, zero sugar gummies. Um, I have three months before I go see the doctor, before they check me again. And my goal is to reverse this. So I've been really, really trying, y'all. I don't know what it is. It's like ever since the doctor told me I'm pre-diabetic or for the last month or so, y'all like my craving for sugar has increased 
and I'm working on it and I'm praying about it y'all and I'm trying to be more conscious about it but I ain't gonna lie that she be beating my ass like like even last night I had a salad and I had a sweet tooth after I had me dark chocolate or whatnot like I said I'm not big on sweets I had me a dark chocolate before I went to sleep and that's not good for me because I'm trying to reverse the pre-diabetic right now um, what else I was going to tell y'all? So I've been researching. I have to have more high fiber diet, high um, high fiber, high proteins, less carbs type of diet. The good thing that a lot of the stuff that I have to eat, I already love it. I already love avocado. I already eat salmon. I already eat, you know, chicken. I already eat a lot of greens. So I don't have to rechange my diet completely. I just have to just be more um, headstrong when it comes to sweets and, and carbs. Carbs is what really has me. Like I was like even today, what I had for breakfast, I had a breakfast sandwich, bread, carbs. Um, it's okay to have coffee or or t hot tea, um, but don't buy the one in the process, pretty much, because those have higher sugar. You have more control when you make your own coffee. Um, and then I had the um, skinny popcorns, which only had three grams, I think seven grams of, of sugar, so I was able to control that. But then... Shahira gave me a bag of Doritos. I had that. That was carbs. I haven't had anything tonight. My plan is to eat salad and some chicken wing that I have there. Hopefully, I stick to it. Because I could plan to eat good, y'all. And then I come home and the whole thing out the freaking window. So, I'm really, really trying my best to reverse it. All you can do is work out. Be weight, weight loss. You know, ma manage your weight and stay away from carbs that's all you really can do in intermediate fasting so i'm gonna i don't want to do intermediate fasting because when i do intermediate fasting i lose too much weight but i might just have to i might just intermediate fast and make sure that when i do eat there are they're big food so i won't lose so much weight and when it's big food i'm not talking about you know macaroni and cheese and stuff like a big ass salad with a big ass piece of fish like my my big ass meals if i only gonna eat two or three times a day make sure they're big and i intermediate fast for 12 hours that's what i might just start doing next month next week but y'all so i just wanted to give you guys the update if you guys you know i don't know my following right now i don't have a steady following y'all but i am 35 years old you know a lot of the women that i connect with are my age and we all are like going through something health wise and everybody is different i connect with so many people and everybody is different y'all and at the end of the day we we only have one life and our job is our temple like i don't want to prolong this this section segment here because i know you guys attention span is small but y'all i'm gonna talk to you guys later because i have so much to say about even yesterday like I met this young lady and hopefully she'll give me the opportunity so you guys will be introduced to her probably tomorrow where if you see her guys she has she looks good i'm talking about fit six pack and everything and i'm gonna tell you guys her story i'm gonna ask her her permission first but y'all we have we only have our health and we have to take care of ourselves y'all we only have one life we have to take care of ourselves we have to eat right we have to exercise we have to you know put our cravings and our desires to the to the back sometime 80 percent be be good to your temple and of course 20 percent treat yourself but guys it is so important it is so important because sometimes even though something might happen health wise and stuff like that but if you already living a certain way and being healthy and stuff like that it might prevent you by, from so many other stuff it might slow down by your own generational courses you know what i'm saying like i said health health wise listen my mom my dad my mom's side not my dad thank god my dad is my dad's side are very healthy but my mom's side diabetes di diabetes high blood pressure early 30s there's nothing we can do about it. All the women in my mom's side have it or whatnot. I'm 35, 36 years old. I'm 36 going on 37 next year, guys. 
you know, it's not what I want, but it's reversible. And I know if I put my mind into it, it's going to happen. And I'm not saying none of these illnesses will never happen to me. But what I can say is that I'm going to be the, the healthier version of me where I can slow down those things from happening to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, okay, I'm going to let y'all go because I don't want to... Come back, y'all, for real. Don't leave. If y'all still here, if y'all still here, y'all the real MVP, okay? And stay tuned because it's just the beginning of the weekend vlog, and we gonna be lit, okay? Don't don't leave me, girl. I was in my feelings. I was